So one of the things group-based learning, um, I take back what I just said. This is the one spot where I'm going to turn around and read off the screen. Um, this is a quote. There's a lot of really good research out there. Um, this is not a new concept. Um, kind of spawned from um, medical schools in the 40s and 50s um, and the model of learning that they do there. But this is a quote, and I'll read it out loud. Uh, Inquiry-based learning is grounded in the philosophy of John Dewey, who believed that education begins with the curiosity of the learner. Inquiry-based learning is a student-centered, active learning approach focused on questioning, critical thinking, and problem solving. Inquiry-based learning activities begin with a question followed by investigating solutions, creating new knowledge as information is gathered and understood, discussing discoveries and experiences, and reflecting on newfound knowledge. Um, that quote encapsulates everything that we're going to be talking about over the next hour and a half or so. Um, we're going to dig into this because there's a lot. This is a surprisingly pithy quote, but um, there's a lot in there. And this does a really good job talking about exactly what the goal and the, the methodology of inquiry-based learning is. Um, discussion. We're going to go back to this. Um, a little bit different from the need to knows, but what do you think the key differences are between inquiry based learning and traditional um, classroom settings? Student centered. Student centered, yeah. It's no longer sit and get, it's yeah. you're actually involved. You're not giving kids the answers, but having them find them for themselves. Mm -hmm. The kids are making an authentic contribution. Yeah. Something greater than what they might learn to start with the textbook. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, those are all exactly, that's exactly it. Um, there are five main components to inquiry based learning. Um, First is that it should be central to the curriculum. Um, we, we use the same kind of terminology when we talk about project-based learning, which, we do at our, which is what we do at our school. Um, Inquiry-based learning is more general, but it should still be at the center of everything you're doing in your class. If you're, or even if you're just going to do it on a single lesson or a single project or unit scale, it should be at the center. So it should always be the focus. It shouldn't be an afterthought. It's not something you do just at the beginning or just at the end. From beginning to end, whatever your whatever the scope of your project is, should be inquiry-based learning. Um, it's also centered around driving questions. Um, this is where we as instructors get to um, insert our own voices. It is student-centered. It is student-driven. The students are asking the questions, but I mean, we can all imagine the disaster that would occur if you were to say, all right, we're going to study World War II. Go. That's going to, some of them will be good. Some of them will be funny. A lot of them will be terrible, and it's not going to be particular standards. So we have standards to cover. Um, driving questions are going to be where we as teachers get to kind of suggest, push them along a certain path. We're not telling them. It's not sit and get still. Um, but it's focusing them a little bit because they're young enough, they still don't have that focus that they really need. I don't think they would know, like, if you're studying World War II in American history, you shouldn't do a project on Germany. Like, it'd just be beyond them. So, um, driving questions are where we get to exercise our voice as teachers without giving them too much, we're still not giving them the information. Um, focus on a constructive investigation that involves inquiry and knowledge building. So again, not knowledge receiving, it's not sitting yet. They are building their own knowledge. They are constructing their learning for themselves. Um, which, in a lot of cases, not only makes it more exciting, because they feel like they're discovering things on their own, but it's also, um, it's just more meaningful for them. And it's more, uh, they retain it better. When they're not just memorizing off of a sheet, when they're actually doing the investigation themselves, they are uh, making more lasting knowledge. Um, Student-driven, capitalized, and authentic is a big part of this. So um, 
real world application. We'll go into some specific examples of this later today, but 